All right, we're in our number two position. We're talking about the shots where if you could get a lot better at these three shots, it's going to change your scores. And it's not going to be like months and months and months of training. This is just like a few, a few simple keys to get you in. We were, we were in the woods before and we went from skull topping it to, to puring it and also learned a shot that could be good off the tee as well. Now we're on the green Monty and we have about, I didn't walk it out, but it looks about like a 45 foot putt. Yeah, or so. yeah for, and it's uphill with quite a bit of break to the left. Uh -huh. um, so why is this a shot that, or how do people mess this up so much? Okay, so he, the biggest mistake that people make in putting is they don't hit the ball solid. Okay. Okay. And if you're not hitting the ball solid, you know, how am I going to have any distance control when I put the same amount of force on the ball and one goes short and left like that and one gets to the hole? I mean, those balls finished 15, 20 feet apart. How are you going to ever develop distance control? And the biggest issue that I see, it is almost universal. Golfers move their hips too much when they putt. They, they, they rotate their hips because that's what they've been told. Rot and it just is filtered in. Yeah. And if you watch great putters, and it's been measured, great putters have five or six degrees of hip rotation or less. Wow. And the average, in all the schools I do, the average 10 to 12 handicapper, which is a very good golfer, has 20 to 30 degrees of hip rotation, even on a 10-footer. Right. And when they get to a long putt like this, they're up there going, you know, and you're never going to have, <laughs> funny enough, I hit a decent putt, but you're not going to have any distance control, okay? And I always demonstrate this. I can hit this ball 20 feet past that pin, okay, yeah. without really any excess hip motion. Right. And that is where the people make their mistakes. Because look, this, this will make sense now that I say it. If you take a backstroke and you rotate your hips, I'm pointed over there. Uh -huh. So yeah. the only way to get this ball online is to go like that. Uh, now you screwed your stroke up. Yeah. You've ruined your, and yeah. there's no way you're gonna hit it solid consistently. Yeah. Whereas, when you minimize the hip turn, and I've put dozens of, of, of videos of tour players hitting putts from all distances, yeah. and there is no discernible hip motion yeah. except for one. And this is one a lot of your subscribers will be familiar with is the famous 18-inch putt that, that Duffner missed on the 72nd hole at the Players' Championship that cost him like a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah. And there's, there's two arguments to be made here. One, people said, but Monty, he was like eighth in putts, strokes, gain putting. Yeah. And I'm like, a great player can manage it. But when he got under pressure, he took it back, he rotated his hips, tried to yip it back online, and it was just a disaster. And I put these videos up. He had more hip rotation on that 18-inch putt than a video compilation of some of the best putters in the world were having on 30 and 40 footers. And um, so that, I mean, that is an almost universal fault that, that amateur golfers have. They have too much motion in their hips when they putt. You've convinced us. We want less hip rotation when we putt. And what, well, I'm going to grab some balls yeah. and then talk about how can we develop this. Well, it, you know, and obviously on a short putt, if you move your hips a lot, you need to get rid of it. But it exacerbates itself when we have to create some speed on a longer putt going up this hill. The instinct is to go like this. And it's hard to fight if you do it. And th there was a really, um, I had a really funny experience with this exact issue. I was doing a golf school in Baltimore, and peep, all 50, there were 15 golfers at my golf school, and all 15 of them had seen me talk about this. And all 15 claimed, oh yeah, Monty, I took it to heart, I don't move my hips anymore. And all 15 of them Excessive moved, movement, yeah. Excessive movement, and it was funny. I mean, like the 10th, 11th guys are like cursing, I'm not gonna effing do it. There's just, it's not gonna happen, yeah. you know? So it's a subconscious thing. And the easiest way to, to see, in, you know, if you don't have a buddy, is you put an alignment stick in your belt loop, and if you see this wiggling and moving over here, it's, it's a problem. Okay. So I, we, we didn't grab an alignment stick, that's all right, because Monty's, 
well-trained eye and our slow motion in the camera will be able to see. And is it the type of thing where, where I see this a lot in, in golf, between like the, when they practice, they might not have it, and then when they go to hit it, they, they, they do? Usually that's the case, but in this case, when they make a practice stroke, oh, it's still it's, it's, it's still there. Okay, here we go. It's still there. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, how'd I do? I didn't really think about distance control there. Okay. No, that wasn't. I mean, you yeah. know, there's going to be a little bit of movement. Uh -huh. There has to, but you don't want to have like right. a hip turn. And certainly, go don't let this because I see some guys putting like this. Don't let this be the the motor that right. creates the speed. I mean, yeah. I watch people on the putting green, they have weight shifts when they putt. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I like that one. Felt great. See, and what happens is, is one of two things happen. Either people automatically just start hitting it more solid and the ball goes farther than it normally does, but what happens more often is people are so used to generating motion here oh, yeah, right. that initially they leave everything short mm -hmm. yeah. because they need more motion right. through here. Okay, so um, last one. So, so you're saying, Monty, like basically you just want to, the way to fix it is no s special drill or, and even these guys in your school, they were aware of it. It's just expanding the awareness by using the stick so because you can kind of see it a little bit. You can better. see it happen. Because, you know, you're not going to look at that. While you're looking at the ball, you can see this in your peripheral vision. Yeah. And a little bit of movement is obviously fine, but you just don't want, just like anything in golf, you don't want excess. That, that one was perfect. Yeah, that was really good. Okay, so you good. just want to avoid the excess yeah. movement in your hips. And what I found is, is not only does it help speed control on the longer putts, people start making a lot more three-footers. Because if you're going like this on a three-footer, good right. luck. Yes, because if you can main, maintain your kind of uh, hip framework on a one where you're trying to get a little power, it, it's going to be a lot easier to do Way it when easier. you just need to. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, cool. Now we're going to move. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this as three different videos. So if, if it's a third video, you'll, you'll link to it. Or if I'm going to cut it all as one video, I'll decide later. But we're talking about the three shots that's, that little th things can make huge differences in your game. So now we're going to move to this next location. This is not a difficult physical skill. It's, it's a difficult emotional skill. So now I'm going to hit it about 70. Okay. Or no, what is that, that tree trunk? That's, that's Probably 65, 65 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to hit it 65, but really I'm going to feel it to my belt about and just hit it there, right? Right, okay. absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I hit the tree. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. So, you know, there's, this is where we're, we're, you know, we talked about internal and external focus in another video. Your internal focus is shorter yeah. backswing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you go internal, external, uh -huh. okay? Short backswing to there. the target. Yeah. All right, Monty, but people don't want to just see me hit shots. We got to see you hit one. Oh my gosh. I know, I'm putting you on the spot. This is, I'm going to hurt myself. <laughs> putting you on the spot here. So Monty, a 50 yard shot. So tell me as far as, not to, not to ice you here, but I, I want to Oh no, know. that's fine. I want to know. So if it's like, a, say a normal thing, if you're trying to, with your 60 degree wedge, how far, and a 50 yard shot, how much roll do you want on, on one that's perfect if you're trying to hold it? It's funny you say that. This, you can't teach. This is experience. I've hit tens of thousands of these shots in my life. In, you know, I, I mean, I've only played in a couple of PGA Tour events, but you know, what's now called the Corn Ferry Tour, I've played in a lot of high level events and I practiced 40 to 60 hours a week when I was a touring pro. These things just become automatically, you vis you automatic, you visualize the shot, okay? If I want the ball to come in low and release, I picture it. If I want the ball to come in high and stop, I picture it. I don't say, do this, 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 uh, and this. Yeah. That's where you start to get locked up. That's why I'm not a fan of, you know, from here to here. I right. just kind of say, shorter, longer, right. you know? So depending on the greens, that's how much roll you'll want and you know, the slopes. Because yeah. cause let's, let's be honest, if you go to your local Muni where the greens are super, super soft and they're running seven on the stint meter, and then you know when I played in the US Open where the greens are brick hard and running 12, yeah. the same shot is gonna finish 60 feet apart. Right. So you have to, you know, that's where it's a, 
it's a mental game where you just kind of go, well, I need to hit it about that hard. Okay. So I'll just give you a 50-yard shot, just like you're playing here at Oak Creek oh, today. Oh, I'm going to lay the sod over this one just for the camera so everyone can make fun of me. <laughs>